<laughs> I like wow toys, things that have got really outstanding designs to them, and I've got um, four more here, which are just wonderful things to keep. I sort of celebrate almost daily the uh, what, what these people can do. This first one is a teapot, a cost, cost one. See if I can hold up the camera to show what it is. It's um, which I'll keep. And now what I want to do is, with a bit too difficult to be able tilt that back. Oh, yeah, there we are. Oh, all the way back. And then this tricky bit is holding it like that while I turn the turn the spout. Oh, well, there we are. We'll have a go. We just have a practice with it first. What I'm going to, what I'm going to be doing is turning the spout like that. Oh, he seems to be working, actually. So what he's doing is he's drinking. It's a little figure inside a pier, a bit like the Dormouse in Alice in Wonderland's Tea Party. This is a little Chinese merchant, I suppose it is. He's drinking a cup of tea inside the pot. There's a little crank handle on the end of this spout here, inside of the crank handle, which I came across when I was repairing it. Wittard's Tea. What a beautiful thing, all made of cast, and it's very heavy too, it's made of cast metal, this one here. Very nice indeed, and pop back again. That is a beauty, I really hurt. I thought to have a nice little box for it to go in actually, but there we are. There's another one here, which is one of those ones that personalizes. Kevin Holmes made these, um, and he's no longer with us sadly, but he's... It's just, it's, well, what he did was he asked you what your, your name was, or your initials in this case, and he said, I'll make a um, orthogonal version of it. So mine are, can you see, T for Tim. My middle name is an old Cornish name, Quilla, and then I've half obscured it, but R is Rowett, that's my surname. And the idea is these three pieces on the left all fit into the box, and they fit together very nicely. So the first thing you want to do is put the R in. Let's have a go. There's an R going to go that way, I think. No, nope, going to go the other way, I think. The tricky bit is when you're doing this, there we are. So that's the first piece is in. There's an R there, now in the camera. There he is. Now we've got to put the... I think this goes next. Yes, the T comes last. You've got to put the letter Q in, and that goes vertically down. No, I think it goes from the, I think it goes from the top, actually. Let's have a go like that. Yeah, it does. There we are. Look, there's a Q there now. So we've got, I've got two of them so far. I've got the R and the Q. And the last one to put in is the T, which, again, I think it goes this way down. This is the letter T. And that goes, I think, that, no, I think it's the other way around, actually. There we are. There we are, and it's finished. And it's now T for Tim. Thank you for middle name, funny name, Quilla. And where's the R got to? Oh, there's the R. A wonderful bit of um, carpentry by Kevin Holmes. And he did lots of versions, but his favourite one, I mean, if you just got two, two, two names that you've got, no middle name, he'd do that, but in only two directions. But to make one with all three, Directions this is a very nice thing, orthogonal, and I'm very, very f fond of that. It's personal too. Here's another one which um, I came across originally in uh, the Gather for Gardener, I think it was, with Scott Kim, who does ambigrams, and made this extraordinary animation thing. And a friend, David Birder, then made it into a lenticular. What Kim Scott, who made ambigram, had noticed that if, if you have um, two words like rhythm and melody, which is two of the foundations, really, of Western music, you can make them morph one into the other just by twisting it like that. He does a little video of it. What my friend David did was turn it into a lenticular. So as you move it up and down, you see the thing dancing away, going from melody to rhythm. That's very nicely done, isn't it? Something I feel I'd like to get back in again, if I can. I must have a word with David to see if it's possible to make a few more. And the name is Scott Kim, who invented this wonderful bit of design appears there in the bottom every other switch so a real beauty that the last item is i think 
an all-time favourite carving of what they call dual art. This is dual art stuff. Let's see if I can put this on the back to make him appear. And I want to have it this way, like this. This is representing a magician pulling a rabbit out of the hat. Now I'm going to turn it. And now we've got a rabbit pulling a magician out of the hat. How outrageous. And a giant rabbit at that. So, what a strange thing. This is an American version of them. The original ones I got were from Mexico, I think it was. But it's one of the best I've ever come across. There's a rabbit there. Yes, it's coming in. So that is a, a very, very original and very witty form of art, of the dual art things, turning one to the other and just reversing the roles. And I think it's some... When I got hold of it, I found the chap had just finished doing a production run of five years of it and wasn't going to make any more, so I missed the opportunity. But sometime I've got to get perhaps a person to do a bit of 3D printing on that and make that... Because it's such a lovely idea to have um, a vice versa, a magician putting a rabbit out of a hat and vice versa. <laughs> That's what that is. <laughs> you like it? Thank <laughs> you.